Hi guys, in this short video I'm going to show you how to download assets using the JB client login. So if you just head on over to jb.com and click on the client login in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then if you just log in using the using your stockist login that we've provided you with. Now we've improved the client login um, and we've made everything all available from one screen so it's just going to be a lot easier for you to find what you're looking for. So before we get to the products though, if you've not already, it's probably worth you downloading a, a copy of our brand pack and that includes like our brand guidelines, a few other bits and pieces like some of the icons that we use, um, the logos and colours and all that kind of stuff. So it's quite useful, especially if you've never worked work with a brand before, it'll just get you familiar with the brand and everything. So that's that. And then if you just want to grab every single asset, then you can just click this, download all JB assets. Um, and to be honest, if you're going to be download, you know, if you're going to be working with like most of us folding beds in, you might as well just grab them all because the download's not that much bigger anyway. So you might as well just do that. I'd only really recommend that you download sort of for individual products if you only need like I don't know if you're maybe downloading like for six folding beds or you're working with one of the smaller categories like accessories, say for instance. So anyway, so you can download those two, like I said, using those two options. And then if you just want to download for a particular folding bed, you can just filter using these little filter links so we could have accessories children's mattresses sofa beds of course folding beds so we'll just go back to folding beds and if you want to view them all you can just clear filters and that'll load them all back up so we'll, we'll download in this case the value airflow so I'll just click on the um, the image there and you'll see that in this little arrow at the top that the, the browser is starting to download it now depending on what browser you're using um, you might get like a little dialogue saying you know where do you want to save the file so just you know, choose a location in your computer and click save or you know if I think if you accept the defaults it'll just probably end up in your downloads folder depending on how you've got it set up well that's typically how it works so if I click on this little arrow you can see that the downloads completed they're only fairly small downloads anyway to be honest you know so you know even for the bigger products that I've got like videos and stuff it's um, they're still fairly quick to download really depending on your connection but for most people they'll be fairly quick so I'll just go into my Windows Explorer now and I'll browse to, um, well I'm already there, but I'll just show you how I would have done that. So it would have been this PC, and then downloads, and then the, that's the download that we've just got. They're all zipped folders, so just to make the transfers quicker. So we'll just say extract all. Well, sorry, I've just right clicked there and said extract all. And then just accept the defaults and click extract. And it'll quickly do that. And then once it's done that, I'll just close this window. Once it's done that, you'll you'll be left with the zip folder that you've just downloaded, and then the then the folder itself. So you can delete the zip folder then if you want. And then you're just left with the assets ready to use. This macOS folder is just because the assets were originally created on a Mac. You can delete that as well. And then there, that there you go. So there are all your your assets. You got your photography, your room set photography, your color armor on white. So it's all there. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much.